Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So on today's video, we're gonna do a Nespresso machine tips and tricks. I'm mainly gonna talk about the Nespresso Virtuo line. If you guys are interested in maybe like tips and tricks with the original line, let me know. I tend to ignore that line just because I feel like I use the Virtuo more, but just wanted to let you know up front, this is mainly for the Virtuo line machines. And I think these tips and tricks will work on any machine within that line. So first tip for you guys, if you guys are new with Nespresso and just recently bought a machine, make sure that you register your machine because anything can happen. And in my experience, Nespresso's customer service has always been really, really good. Um, ever since the Virtuo Next that I had broke, I had it registered. I didn't even buy it through Nespresso's website, but as soon as I got it, I registered it on their website and then they were able to help me out. So you get a number, like a little sticker like this. It's really not gonna be on your manual. I think mine was like on the side of the box, but I just put it on my manual just in case I need it. So how you're gonna register your machine is you're gonna go to Nespresso's website. You're gonna have to create an account with them. And once you create the account, you go under my machines, I think it's the tab, and then there's where you register your machine. Follow the directions and then you're pretty much set. If you need to, for some reason, use the warranty, your machine broke, it's leaking coffee, I don't know, whatever, they're able to help you that with that. So that's my number one tip, register your machine. Tip number two, Nespresso recommends you clean your machine weekly. I think when I spoke to them, they said weekly, just do a cleaning. And especially if you have a new machine, you definitely wanna do it before you even start brewing your coffee. That's gonna just run hot water through the whole system, clean the needles and stuff like that. So make sure you do that weekly. Or what I do is as soon as my pad holder in the back is full to the, to the brim, then I take everything out, release any capsules that I have in there, and then I do a full cleaning. I do have a video on how to do a cleaning. This is not a descaling. Descaling is different, I'll talk about that later. Uh, this is just a quick cleaning. I think it takes about five minutes to run the hot water through the whole system. It does three. I'm not going to explain it. I'm going to tag the video up above so that you guys can check that out. But it also is going to help with coffee taste and the maintenance of your machine, you know, throughout its lifetime. Another thing that they told me when I spoke with them is to always, always, always release the pods after every brew so when you put a pot in you get your coffee out brew it whatever when you're done i used to just leave the capsules in there but you want to release the capsule so after you're done you want to just open up the machine actually there's one in there right now so yeah you want to make sure you do that it's it's a habit that i'm trying to start but what they said is that once you do that it it allows the needles to breathe Whereas if you have the capsule stuck in there, the coffee that's left in there might dry up and it might dry up on the needles, making it really bad for the next brew. I think it's a good thing that I clean my machine regularly, but if I didn't and I did those both things, like leave the capsules in there and not clean it, I think that would be a bad idea. And again, I think that's what happened with my Virtuo next. So cleaning and releasing those capsules are gonna keep the needles in tip top shape and it's gonna make your coffee taste good in the long run. Descaling. So I have yet to descale my machine because I've only had it for two months. But Nespresso recommends descaling your machine every three months or every 300 capsules. I think I'm gonna do a video of how I'm gonna descale it. It'll be my first time. I have descaled my little mini Essenza and it's pretty simple. I usually just buy the packets that they have on their website. You can find them on Amazon. They're descaling de packets. Some people I've seen you do vinegar to descale, but I'm just gonna follow the manufacturer's directions and use their packets, I think within the next month. And that just takes out all of the mineral taste and the buildup of the water that like goes through the machine. It's just, it's something that's necessary with something that passes water with hot and all that stuff. So yeah. The next thing is a little like trick. I didn't know about it, but I was reading the manual. So when you pick up the machine underneath it, there's like a groove that allows your cable to be manipulated into it so that it reduces the amount of cable that's out and about and like on display i thought that was really cool when i read it i actually tried it on mine but it doesn't work out on the water tank being on the right side of the machine i think it benefits those that have the water tank on the left side of the machine that doesn't work for me though because then it'd be too far for the outlet but it's something that i thought i'd share because i don't like cables showing i'm still like kind of mad about those cables showing 
so i really wanted it for to work for me but it didn't so there you go if you guys have your cable outlet on this side and have your water tank on the left side there's room on the bottom of your machine to wrap the cord so that you don't have too much cable showing so thought i'd share that trick with you guys next tip is you can stop the coffee flow whenever you want so let's say you have for example these huge coffee pods and you have a cup that you just realized halfway through the brewing that the cup is going to be way too small for you and it's going to overflow you can stop the coffee flow so i have this for example you put it in there and i press the button if you think you have enough coffee brewed already but the pot is still going and the machine is still going just press the top button and it'll stop the coffee flow it'll be done if you feel like you stopped it too early you can start it again so you would press the button one more time let it brew whatever you want more to brew and then stop it again and then you're pretty much topping off your your coffee and that was the next tip is that you can step the coffee flow whenever you think you have enough and you can also top up your coffee manually so that's how you would do it i thought that was a really cool idea because at the beginning i actually ended up reprogramming my machine so that every time i put these in it would fill it to a, just a certain amount so like not all the way but then when i found the bigger coffee cups i was like well let me just you know reset it to the factory setting so that i could fill my whole cup again but every so often, I, I, I always think like, I want to use this cup with this coffee pot, but this coffee pot is not small enough, like it makes too much coffee. So that's what I learned. You can press the button and it'll stop it just where you feel like you have enough coffee. And if you stop it too early, then you can just start it again and then stop it one more time. That's not going to change the settings going forward. It's just going to do it that one time. But if you guys do want to learn how to change the factory settings, to each individual pod let me know because i will make another video of that because there are some people that just want this to be brewed a certain amount and it'll do that for every time it senses a pod like this because like i said in previous videos the machine senses this barcode around the pod and so if you set it to brew a certain amount every time it gets that pod it'll do it but what i just told you right now i feel like i'm going on a tangent now but what I told you just right now, that's not resetting it or setting it permanently. That's just for one time use. You can stop it and top off as you please. Okay, so last but not least, this is something that I've noticed like when I, you know, brew my coffees. When I'm rewatching the footage, sometimes I notice that the machine is spitting out coffee or like the coffee flow is not continuous. Like it'll stop for like a millisecond and then it'll go again. They say that usually you have to do a cleaning at that point or like coffee grounds might be stuck in the needle and that is because you don't clean it enough. So that could be the problem. But for me, what had happened was that the water tank wasn't all the way in. I thought I had it in, but I noticed that I needed to press a little bit more down so that the actual like suction cup needle thing, it was pressed firmly, firmly so that the machine can take it out. So that's one thing but other than that if it's not the water tank it's most likely that you need to do a cleaning like the weekly cleaning that i talked about but yeah i think that is it let me know if you learned something new today or if you already knew some of these and actually have more if you want to share with me your tips and tricks i would love to know and i'm sure everybody in the comments section would love to know so share your tips and tricks and let me know if you learned something new today and yeah i think that is it Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.